Hey YouTubers, I'm going to do a quick review of this uh, Pittsburgh 65 piece um, ratchet and socket set here. Um, I've had it for about two years now and it costed about 27 bucks. I know you can get them for like 20 bucks with the coupon. I don't know if they still make these anymore. Well, this uh, version. Um, I know most of their stuff nowadays has lifetime warranty. I'm pretty sure if I brought this to my Harbor Freight, they'd replace it, even if it wasn't under lifetime warranty, because they're they're pretty good. Uh, my local one's pretty good about just replacing stuff. Um, yeah, you got your metric and your standard uh, sizes here. You got your spark plug uh, socket, uh, two two-inch extensions for different sizes. Some deep wells here. Um, you can see they're all numbered along here tell you what it is the camera's not going to focus very well you can see they wrap all the way around and they have different sizes so you got that size and then you move down to you know the smaller size you have the big one the half inch i think it is but uh, i have other tools i had the craftsman sockets and um stanley professional ones and snap-on stuff some a little bit of snap-on stuff but uh, I find I use this the most. I mean, this is pretty easy to carry around. Just snaps on close. Comes with this case. Um, it's obviously pretty dirty, but it holds it well. I like being able to do this and being able to carry all the sockets all around at once to wherever I need them instead of having to come back to the garage like a thousand times to figure out which one you need. Um, here's the, I don't know what size socket it is. Um, you know the medium one I guess but uh, it's forward and reverse mechanisms nice and smooth its gears are uh, probably about medium and coarse not too fine um, it's smooth it sounds okay I mean it doesn't sound too cheap and you can see it's pretty worn down on the edges right here for me flicking it back and forth you got your serial number right there and it says made in Taiwan and its weight is pretty good um, probably perfect weight for what you need. I, mean, I don't want too much weight and I don't want too little. But, uh, that's the Pittsburgh one. We can compare it to this. Here, we'll use the Craftsman one for a second. Here's a Craftsman one. See, it says Craftsman there. It's serial number. But this is made in the United States. I don't like this um, it's a Ford in reverse mechanism right here because if you have gloves on, it's too hard to, it's kind of difficult to uh, flick with your finger. I mean, not like I wouldn't buy this tool bad, but it gets annoying. But uh, you can hear its teeth compared to the Arbor Freight one. It sounds pretty similar. Um, head on, they both have the spring load ball mechanism to lock it. Um, really, they're almost copies of each other. Without that stripe being there, they both got the double striping. Um, I will say, um, when they get oily, um, the Craftsman is a little bit easier to hold because it, it has a little bit more roughness to it than the Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh one is really slippery when you have oil on it, and that can cause a little issues, but not too much. Um, I'd say the Craftsman is a little bit heavier than the Pittsburgh. <laughs> the Stanley one right here is a Stanley Professional made in the USA also. Um, there's a, I got a serial, oh no, that's a Stanley Professional. Here's a serial number. Um, it's got the, my preferred mechanism to switch forward and reverse. Um, there's its gears. Sound probably about the same as the Pittsburgh. It's probably a little finer. But it's got the ball mechanism there. Um, it's probably the lightest of the group. Probably already said that. Its thickness is a little bit thicker right here. And compared to the Pittsburgh. Um, besides that, pretty much very similar in design and look between the three, the Craftsman and the Professional, and the the Stanley Professional, the Craftsman, and the Pittsburgh. Um, that's got a black uh, finish to it on this one, but uh, they look pretty good. All of them do. But, uh, I use this one the most because it, the dirty conditions, it uh, it outperforms the other one, I guess. I don't want to get all these these ones dirty, but most of the jobs I do, 
are pretty dirty and they get dirty anyway but uh, yeah, that's for the ratchet itself put these over here now I can compare your sockets here um, let's see. here would be a the Harbor Freight or Pittsburgh socket here um, it's got a big long serial number right there it's hard to see because the lighting but uh, it says 13 millimeter it's got double banded it's banded right here and it clearly says 13 millimeter on the side of it it uh, has the um, that kind of bolt threading I don't know what you want to call it um, I'm not a big fan of that I prefer like this kind it has less likely chance of stripping it out I think this is called like I don't know six point and this is probably I don't know ten or twelve point but yeah it's okay they don't strip out that much and then you can see the back it's got a nice finish to it um, they do kind of dull out over time see that That's that one. Um, this is a Craftsman one. It says Made in America on it. Actually, it says Made in the United States. This one says Taiwan. But uh, there's the bottom of that. It has a much duller shine, probably because this is a little bit older. Um, it's got that less likely to strip a bolt uh, six point uh, head in it, I guess. It's kind of greasy inside. But the finish is a lot duller than the. Pittsburgh. Um, I have a Stanley Professional one here. It's um, it's easy to read. 13 millimeter. It's a Stanley Professional, and then it says the serial number in USA on it. Pretty nice. It's not very deep though. And here's a Snap-on one. It's got good grips on it. This little um, they put little cuts in it. It is kind of hard to tell with these Snap-on ones which size you have. So it's a really small lettering that says 13, just 13, um, but it has better grip on it, so in case you want to hold it, you know. All these other ones are chromed, here you can see the difference. This is all smooth on this one. This is the uh, Stanley Professional one, it's all smooth. This one, snap-on one, has a little bit of cuts in it, so you can hold a little better. Here we can compare that to the Harbor Freight one here. I guess the Harbor Freight one has a couple notches in it. Versus the snap-ons, um, ridged edging or something. Pair it here. Snap-ons on the left. Snap-ons a little smaller too. But yeah. I haven't found any cons with this set yet, besides I can't stop using them. They're a great set. I definitely suggest it to somebody not looking to spend a couple hundred dollars on just a ratchet set. Um, most tools, anywhere you go, most tools come with a lifetime warranty nowadays. Oh, well, if it doesn't, you're probably wasting your money. Um, you can see it's nicely laid out good feel to the tools but they're, they're made in Taiwan but I know a lot of craftsman stuff is made in China nowadays and some of, I think some of the um, I think Mac tools or one of the big name companies has a lot of Chinese made Chinese made stuff nowadays but uh, yeah uh, thanks for watching comment rate subscribe definitely uh, check out this 65 Pete's uh, Pittsburgh um, Harbor Freight tool set. Thanks for watching.